Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the F16C and we're looking at radios for communication. I say communication because radios can also be used for navigation, but today it's for communication. We might use them to talk to ATC at an airfield, an aircraft carrier, uh, flight members in your group, or an air-to-air -air refueler. The list is basically endless. The only thing geographically you really need is a line of sight to the thing that you want to talk to. The radio suite in the F-16 is an excellent radio suite. We have two radios. We have Com one in fact the best thing is if I click on it, if we click on our guy here, we go to presets here, this tells us about our radios. Com one is the name of the primary radio, it's in the UHF band and it's referred to as an ANARC164. It has a band of 225 to 400 megahertz and it's amplitude modulation only, it's AM only. COM2 is actually a combined radio under the banner of VHF. It's an ANARC222. This can function in AM or FM depending on the frequency and the frequency range is 30 megahertz up to 151 megahertz. So if you like it's kind of what I consider a combined AM FM radio. So these radios can work essentially two ways manual frequency selection or preset frequency selection. Preset frequency selection will mean that the presets have to be programmed and we're going to program them in this case in the mission editor. First we need someone to talk to. So we're going to take this ATC tower here at Kasab, click on it here. We can see we have various frequency bands here. This one here is probably VHF FM. I can't remember the last time I used that. Probably helicopters. Here is VHF AM. Here is UHF. And here is uh, the old style Warbird Freak. So the ones we're interested in, uh, this one here, 124.350. And we can also try the UHF as well, 250.000 megahertz. So let's make a note of that. So what I'm going to do is program those into my presets. So I'm going to go to presets here with my aircraft. So for my COM1, my UHF, I'm going to put that on preset 3. We get up to 20, as you can see there. Um, what was it? 250.000. OK, that's up there. Now for COM to the 222 radio we're going to put in uh, why don't we have that in slot number four here and it was 124.350 like that we're going to come out of that we're going to save it that's the presets programmed into the aircraft now we're going to jump into the aircraft use the presets to talk to the ATC and also try some manual programming here we go Let's look where the radios are and which radios we have. So we have COM1, that's the ANARC164. This is controlled for the ICP and the DED here. Similarly, COM2, which was the VHF ANARC222, controlled via the ICP and the DED here. We have a tertiary UHF backup radio here. It's very similar to the one in the A10. C, and we also have some controls for COM1 and COM2 there. For the scope of this video, we're going to go through COM1, COM2, but we're not going to go through UHF backup because we haven't actually found a reason to use it yet. If we find a reason to use it, for instance, that we need it for ADF navigation, then we'll approach this radio in a different video. So before we go up any further, we're just going to, I'm going to have to move that throttle forward there and just pause that for a second. We've got COM1, where, where we can change the power of the radio or the volume of the radio here. COM2, we can change the volume power there. We've also got for COM1, the UHF primary, we can have the squelch off, the squelch on, and guard here. So if we took squelch off here, we would get the hissing sound that you get on radios. And we've got the same here for COM2. Two. Okay, so let's go up to the ICP and the DED. There's lots of stuff we can do here. So the first thing I want to do is to select one of those pre-programmed preset channels from the mission editor. So we're going to go COM1. We're going to type in the channel we want to select, uh, which was, sorry, the preset we want to select, which was, if I look at my record, number three. Press enter. And then we always want to get back to the CNI page, which is this page here. If for some reason you are lost on another page, just press the DCS RTN switch here and you'll get back to the CNI. CNI is comms navigation IFF. We can see now for our UHF radar, COM1, we've got preset three selected. So if we want to go and talk now, we're going to use the following buttons. COM1, that button there. For COM2, that button there. 
Okay, so we're going to transmit now with our UHF radio. So we're going to press the COM1 transmit. And you can see I've got the 164 here that I'm using. I'm going to request taxi to runway standby. COM1 one, one. request taxi to runway. If it works, we should get a uh, reply. Hey. Lovely. Now what I need to prove to you is that it wasn't a fluke. So what I'm going to do is purposefully put a, another preset on, an incorrect preset, just to show that it would not work in that case. So I'm just going to go COM1, preset 4, enter, and let's try again. Transmit button, uh, abort takeoff, and you'll find, one, one. Abort takeoff. you'll find that you should not reply in this case. Okay. So what I want to show now is again just repeat the exercise but for COM2 so I'm going to go COM2 and the correct preset was number 4 that we set so 4 enter and now we're going to use uh, COM2 which is the 222 and we're going to abort takeoff so we're contacting on 124.35 now there we go so that shows how to select a preset. Now we want to show that you can actually program presets with the uh, ICP and the DED here. So what we're going to do, we're going to start again, go to go to COM1. We're going to use the DCS up and down here to select our preset area here. Okay, we've got that here. We're going to say which preset we want to change. So I want to change preset 12. I'm going to press enter. And now to set the frequency associated with preset 12 on COM1, we're going to DCS down. And we're going to type in 25000, uh, enter. And what we've done by that is change preset 12 to 250. So I need to go and, pro I need to go and prove that that works now. Let's get back to the base CNI page with DCS return. So we're going to go COM1, preset 12, enter. And we're going to try communicating again. Uh, let's try requesting takeoff. Call one one request takeoff. Call one one clear to taxi to Bye bye. And just to prove that's worked by going to con one, you can see preset twelve is still uh, two five zero. So next we want to show how to set a frequency manually. So that's not change a preset like we did there, but that's to use a manual non preset frequency so that's super easy to use uh, i'm going to do it with com2 just to vary things up a bit so com2 and i'm just going to enter the frequency now so one two four point uh so i don't need to put a point in three five so that's one two four three five zero for the tower enter so you can see we don't have a preset we just have a manual temporary manual frequency here and we're going to press the button for com to transmit there request to take uh, abort takeoff take one, one. Take one, one. there we go Super easy. And we've got extra functionality we can also change the preset in a different way so if i use my dcs up and down here and i go to this guy here the preset 12 i can then use the incrementer to change to a different channel there i can go back to three which i've already preset in, in the mission editor and i could that would work like that the only other thing I'd like to show at the moment is that if we go into our radius here, so we go into COM here, we can monitor. We're currently just monitoring the main frequency. Uh, if you know about radios, you can also monitor guard. But well, to do that, we would press our sequence, DCS sequence here, and you see that changes to both. So we're now monitoring COM1 main and guard. We press sequence again. We're just monitoring our and using transmission uh, uh, the main frequency as selected. Okay, so that's it. It showed how to use COM1, COM2. This chap here, the backup UHF, we'll go through at another time. We've looked at presets, we've looked at manual and different ways of programming those presets. I hope that was useful and see you later.